Welcome everyone. In today's video we'll demonstrate how to remove radios from your instrument panels. The tool you'll need is a 3 seconds hex head or allen wrench. Uh, those you see here will all perform the job. And 3 seconds is the most common screw head used by most radio manufacturers. Alright, one important thing you need to know is that the short end this particular Allen wrench will not work in these to remove the panels here. It's just too short. You need to use the long side. And you just insert it in, engage the nut, and unscrew it. Okay, that one has been released. Next this one goes right here. You can see that one in quite deep. And that one is released. See that one is. And then when it's done, the radials will come right out. Here you can see the uh, install removal pawls on this particular radio. This is what moves them in and out of the radio stack. And when you're reinstalling them, you do want to make sure you're all the way backed out or you will have difficulties putting this radio back in. As you can see, I didn't have it quite in there right, and it didn't go in. There it did. Now it's settled in there. And that one still isn't properly backed up and tight. So I got to completely reverse that locking screw there and Make sure the radio is in nice and snug. There it flipped in. And it's secure. You do not want to over tighten these. It'll just lead to problems in the future. And that one's in. And the last one's in. Some of these, such as this uh, audio panel here, can be kind of difficult to get in, but don't force it and it'll go. Thank you for watching.